So do you remember this whole thing? America. What is America's destiny? What is best for our nation? He said to the president and for one month and two months and three months. 2020, I'm gonna run the whole election. That's right, in 2020, rapper Kanye West ran for president of the United States. He was up against Democrat Joel Biden and Republican Donald Trump, as well as some lesser known candidates like Libertarian Joe Jorgensen, Green Party Howie Hawkins, and others. And I know, I know, hoser, it's been pretty much a year since this happened, but hey, I don't care. So how did Kanye actually do? Well, Kanye came 7th. What? 7th only? Sorry, yay. He was beaten by all those candidates I mentioned as well as others, like Alliance Party Roque de la Fuente and Socialist Party Gloria La Riva. The election was stolen out of Kanye's hands with hundreds of millions of Kanye votes locked in bunkers around the country. I'm just kidding bro, but... So it's okay. Kanye did kinda bad, but how bad did he do? Let's map it! I found a list of detailed results from the election which was taken down about a week after I copied them, and I wrote this program to turn this mess into something readable. I'll admit it, I wrote this months ago so I also have no idea what it says. But it makes this nice looking chart with the county, state, number of votes, votes per each candidate, and the vote P as I put it, which is essentially just the percentage of the candidates votes in the county divided by the county which had the most percentage of that candidates votes kind of confusing to say out loud, but it basically just makes the percentages visible as some of the smaller candidates would only have 0.0001% in each county. And then I got this map off of Wikipedia, turned it into a text file, and if you look at each county, it has something called style equals stroke. If you change that to style equals fill with a color value, it will show up on the map. So I made the second program that changes that P score for Kanye into one of 20 shades of gray. 50 would have been way too much. And now the moment you've been waiting for. Drum roll please. Here it is. And it's laughably bad. Only 12 states even show up, but that's because Kanye was only on the ballot in 12 states. The other 38 weren't on the list I used. But you can still see on this map that Kanye did better in around the Mississippi River and the Northwest than like in Iowa or New Hampshire. His best county was Houston, Tennessee with 14 votes out of 869. In case Kanye is watching, those are your biggest fans. So yeah, Kanye kinda flopped, but what about the other candidates? Here's what a full map looks like with Trump's results. You can see it's very, very dark all over, but Trump did well in small rural counties. He did the best in the interior US and worst around the coast. Roberts County, Texas was his best performance. Here's Joel Biden's map. You can see pretty distinctly where he did well, like the coasts, by the Mexican border, up into Colorado, and parts of the south. His best county was Ward 7 in Washington, D.C. And here are some of the smaller candidates. This is the Libertarian map. They clearly did much better in the northwest than the south, and you can see a clear line between Minnesota, Iowa, and Missouri, with the Dakotas, Nebraska, and Kansas. I guess they hate being treaded on west of that line. The Libertarian County was Electoral District 2 in Alaska, which doesn't show up because they don't use counties to count votes. If you're wondering where that is, it's in Fairbanks. I guess you don't like the government when you live in the middle of nowhere. Here's the Green Party. Again, some states are missing, but Maine clearly was their hub in 2020, with good performances in Hawaii, California, and these two counties in the south. I don't know why they were so heavy green. Their county was Waldo, Maine. Well, I guess you like nature when you live in the middle of nowhere. And finally, we have the Socialist Party, who even in the states they were on the ballot in, you can still barely see their results. California, New Mexico, and Arkansas seem to be their best states. Lee County, Arkansas was the most socialist in the 2020 election. Well, I hope we all learned something today, kids. Here are all six maps I showed put together. I hope you go out in the world and map your own election someday. But for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Kanye 2024!